Okay, we're back with another episode. It turns out that just as I suspected, uh, that they were not going to let me uh, keep music. So, now it's quiet. Of course, in real life, you don't get music following you around everywhere you go. You know, unless you got electronic device. So anyway, let's go through this dungeon. I don't know if there's live people in here or not. Uh, since it was ranked as the six, I'm thinking... Maybe. They got the doors here that take forever to open. No people. Except for the moss, the floor looks pretty good. Looks like it's been painted. They have paint back then? I guess so. Well, I don't know if this is a back then. This could be a future. Nothing but baskets. What do you have? Gosh, I don't want that. Look at that, it's actually hanging up. I don't believe I've ever seen it hanging up. I've seen it on the ground. A bunch of bodies on the ground like I'm used to seeing. So I guess there's going to be different type of things. I guess I expected. Oh, I can see the um, bug picks pretty clearly distinguished on this board. Half a frostbite. I think I'm going to.
<laughs> I gotta get out of here in order to look her. Yeah, me. Mm. This is like regular Skyrim so far. Wait a second. I wasn't doing this. What was I doing? Oh yeah, reading the book. Oh, that did not... I can still sell this? Cool. Oh, a countdown. I see it now. Now, do I... Getting any benefit from that? Where is lock pick? I don't see lock pick. I know it's got to be here though. Why can't I see? Finger Smith? Alright, I guess that's it. Sure, I like that term. Like the way they did lock picking. Sounds like running water. Oh. It must be this. No, I don't know what it is. No, there's nobody here. down there's no way to pull it up which is interesting ok 
Okay, now. What do I have here? Okay. What are you? Money. A little bit of money. You well, know, all sorts of cool stuff. Oh, you can't get by that area. Yeah, a lot of NPCs have that issue. I can't regenerate magic. You're in a battle anyway. Well, let's just see. Yeah, I think I'm going to be... feel a little bit better using this. Or something else I got. What else have I got? Thirty-seven. Well, I don't have anything. All right, we can just don't have a way to use it. What was that that I killed? Is that my pet?
Oh, healing's pretty good. And and this does restore. things I don't know what it is. And they only have one each. Look at how that moves. Interesting. Scenery is very good. <coughs> and it has many of the same features. Original has. I guess that's is intentional. Although I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be a uh, push in here. I don't see one. Doesn't mean it's not there though. All right, let's get down. See what's in store for us in this next section. Wow, pretty clear. No smoke or anything. Ah, I got help that time. they are right about this being more damage by they're right that there is more damage by me haven't seen more damage by them yet but I'm going to believe that's going to be true at least the one I've seen so far so of course I'm used to playing on legendary so yeah what does lower damage really mean? <laughs> nice cave looking cave bear. look a little bit alike.
I'm not sure. Still don't know what type of character I'm gonna have. Um, so we're just. I believe I gained a level. And I still have the one perk because I don't even know where to put it. I've been thinking about. Do I want to do heavy armor? Light armor? I kind of want to do light armor, but I don't know if that's going to work out. So right now, just us. Right, let's see if call horse works. Oh, yeah, definitely. So what I want to do avoid those bandits for right now. I believe I have a pickaxe. So that works. See how this works. Monk robes. That might be something I want to use. Or dark brown scarf. I don't think I want to use that.
I don't know where they went. Let's go find a wolf. Easy to hit. You know, it's getting dark. I want to get to Riverwood before it's dark. I believe I already picked my yes. No, this would just be me walking by this area. Wolves didn't stand a chance. One of us has to do something. I said no. No adventures, no theatrics, no thief chasing. Well, what are you going to do then, huh? Let's hear it. We are done talking about this. Oh. <clears throat> that looks like that Sorry, dagger was sticking through her leg. I guess not. Well, I 
I don't know what you overheard, but the Riverwood Trader is still open. Feel free to shop. Trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. Okay. Hmm. All right, let's just see if, what you'll buy from him. Imperial. What am I wearing? I'm not sure what I can sell and what I can make. As if things weren't bad enough. Let me help you. The Riverwood Trader is everything you need. Did uh, something yeah, happen? We, we did have a, a bit of a, a break in. But we, we still have plenty to sell. Robbers were only after one thing. Which was? An ornament. Solid gold in the shape of a dragon's claw. Ooh. I could help you get the claw back. You could? I've got some coin coming in from my last shipment. It's yours if you bring my claw back. If you're going to get those thieves, you should head to Bleak Falls Barrow, northeast of town. So this... Hmm. So you know they came from there. I don't know how you know where thieves come from. We have to go through town and across the bridge to get to Bleak Falls Barrow. You can see it from here, though. The mountain just over the buildings. Uh, oh, there. Those thieves must be mad hiding out there. Those old crypts are filled with nothing but traps, trolls, and who knows what else. Okay. I guess I got in your way. I wonder why they only stole Lucan's golden claw. I mean, we have plenty of things in the shop that are worth just as much coin. Lucan found the claw about a year after he opened the store. He never quite explained where he got it. He's a tricky one.
do know it's night fall. I'm not going anywhere. Interesting. This is the bridge out of town. The path up the mountain to the northwest leads to Bleak Falls Barrow. I guess I should get back to my brother. He'll throw a fit if I take too long. <laughs> Such a child. Okay. Mara bless you for agreeing to help. Well, it's a winding road up the mountain just ahead. You'll know you're in the right place once you spot the old watchtower. Once you get to the tower, head north. Bleak Falls Barrow should be just around the corner further up. Okay. I came here from the Imperial Province to work with my brother, Lucan. Why did you leave? It got bad back in Cyrodiil. The war with the Thalmor ruined... everything. Yes, it now does. Now I just want to put the whole nasty business behind me. What do you think about I the war? I came to Skyrim looking for a better life. So what did I get? Another war. Yeah. This really isn't turning out the way I'd hoped. I just want to find a good husband and start a family of my own. Really? Good luck. Lucan and I will be waiting for you back in the shop. How are you doing? All right, then. Don't have much to talk about, do we? Let's go find a place to stay. Don't want to be out wandering around much at night. I wonder if that happens if that blue thing gets down to zero. Does that mean I don't learn it? That's oh, very pretty. So, Orgnar, are you listening? Hard not to. How's about it? The ale is going bad. Do we want me to pay for them? It's only right, seeing as you're the important lumber mill. And the ale's going bad. You come to an honest day's work in my mill, and I'll pay you an honest day's wages. Then, Feindar thinks he can woo Camilla Valerius away from me. Camilla Valerius knows I'm the best man in Riverwood. That elf is kidding himself if he thinks she would choose him over me. I'm sure you I've would. I've seen him sneaking over to the Riverwood Trader to speak with her when I'm not around. He's wasting his time. You may be right. Camilla may see Feindel as little more than a friend. But why take chances? Here, give Camilla this letter. It's full of venomous nonsense. Tell her it's from Feindel. Hmm. That letter ought to convince Camilla to never speak to Feindel ever again. You've been carrying that letter around hoping to find somebody like me. Just head north. You can't miss it. Head north. I can't miss it. Okay. Mm -hmm. You're that visitor been poking around. Probably. 
Kalik Falls Barrow. Interesting. That's a notorious bandit hideout. Why? Are you sure? Best be careful. I don't want you to get yourself killed, at least. Skyrim is wild country these days. Yeah. You're probably right. But if you live in fear of what might go wrong, you'll end up doing nothing. Yes. But my gut tells me you know what I'm talking about. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. All right, thanks. You gonna tell me where it is? Oh look, a little giant. Don't look like you move. Yeah, I killed a friend of yours recently. Let's see, is this mine? Yes, it is. Hmm. You awaken from your slumber confused as you bathe the nearby area. Half awake, you glance over and notice the weathered water skin beside the bed. Your parched, dried lips begin. Take for the precious look closed within. As you take a sip, the world certainly feels different. You find yourself wanting more, a purpose, maybe. You know this new world provides you what you seek. However, there will be challenges ahead. You place the water skin on your belt and climb out of bed, ready to face the unknown before you. Yes, I do. Wonder what I'll be doing. Alright, let's save here. That looks like a uh, beginning of something new.